This is Inside Georgia Southern Football with Chris Hatcher. Inside Georgia Southern Football with Chris Hatcher, brought to you in part by East Georgia Regional Medical Center. Your health, your community, your hospital. The Georgia Lottery. Today could be the day. By Harvey Supermarkets. Come home to Harvey's. bb and Best bank in town since 1872. Coca-Cola. The Coke side of life. And by Verizon Wireless, the official wireless provider of Georgia Southern Athletics. Verizon Wireless, we never stop working for you. And now, here's your host, Terry Harvin. Welcome to Inside Georgia Southern Football with head coach Chris Hatcher. I'm Terry Harvin. The backdrop is the prettiest little stadium in America. Today is special coach. It's Senior Appreciation Day. We had a reunion for the 1989 and 1999 National Championship teams, and it's Military Appreciation Day. Terry, it was a great day. It was a great day of football. We appreciate all our fans coming out, especially to send off the 17 seniors that we honored today. And it was an awesome day for football. Our team played well for four full quarters. It's been a long, tough season, and it was good to come out of here with a big win on the finale. Um, but it was a very special week. We were not only playing for Georgia Southern, we were playing um, for the, the military. And on Wednesday, the members of the 48th Brigade of the U.S. Um, National Guard out of, out, of, out of Georgia came and presented our team with stickers symbolizing their units. Um, so we played for those guys, and also um, we, we had a special um, presentation um, from, from a group in Afghanistan who sent us an autographed Georgia Southern wow. flag and an American flag that flew over in combat. And two of our players, Gary Ann Taylor and De uh, David Lewis, two seniors, led the team out with those flags today, had a flyover. It was just a great day for football, and we appreciate all that the military does for us. And we were glad to get a win because we felt like we were representing a group that, that sacrifices so much to allow us to be able to enjoy the great game of college football. Thank you, Coach. It was a great day to be an Eagle. We're going to show you those first half highlights, but first, here's the Coca-Cola play of the game. Shotgun snap, here it comes. He's got trip receivers left, unloads, and picked off at the 31 by Tavares Williams. He's coming down the near sideline, cuts inside a couple of defenders, and down to the 33-yard line. Welcome back to Inside Georgia Southern Football with head coach Chris Hatcher. Coach, we won the toss. We defer to the second half. Our defense comes out, and right out of the gate, J.B. Shippey starts it off great. Terry, he had an outstanding game, especially the first drive. Um, you can see he makes a tackle for, for a two-yard loss, and that was, a, I guess, a indicative of the way our defense was going to play the entire afternoon. And then on a second and 12 play, um, great open field tackle by the sophomore um, J.B. Shippey again, and then on third and 11, we pinned them back, and um, they complete a, um, a, a ball right over the middle, and who else would make the tackle but J.B. Shippey to force them to punt right out of the gate. A great start for our defense, and on the punt play, um, they get a nice kick, and Mitch Williford, the fresh, freshman out of Peachtree Ridge, receives the ball. We run the reverse to the sophomore, LaRon Scott, out of Warner Robins High School. And you can see we got a great wall set up, and Zeke Rozier makes a great open field block to spring um, LaRon down the, down the home sideline and a big, big momentum play early in the game. That was the longest punt return on the season. And we go to offense, and Lee Chapel hits J.G. Uh, Bryant on this play, 22 yards and great yards after the catch. He did a great job of reading his blocks. The screen play um, has been good to us this year, but does a great job of cutting it back. And then on the very next play, we throw a screen pass again to freshman from um, Myrtle Beach. Jameer Valentine gets a eight-yard um, gain on the play. Um, unfortunately, we end up getting a holding penalty. Have to settle for a field goal, but Adrian Moore comes through to put us up three to nothing. First time we've had a lead in a long time. It's good to be up three to nothing in your defense. You were talking about how we started the game, and it goes right along there with it. Watch Brent Russell here. Grabs the jersey. Looks like J.B. Shippey makes the hit, and senior David Lewis comes up. Well, David got his first start of the season. Um, comes up with a big play. Awesome defense. Um, play by three different guys here to force one of the one of the first turnovers of the game. And then offense, you have uh, Brandon Nolly, who we saw him break out against Sanford, and what a stiff arm here for 20 yards. Well, Brandon's a very strong runner, and he, he got out in the open field, and um, he's hard to bring down. Great run by him. Um, we, we get a few first downs, and we come to the third and 15 um, play, and this is a very nice run by Lee Chapel for eight yards. Um, however, we're forced to punt. 
but we put that old great defense unit back on the field. And they stepped up for you one more time. Brent Russell deflects the pass. Another senior comes up big. Yeah, well, Terion Benefield gets his first interception of the season. I believe that was his fourth career. Um, big play, and again, our defense has given the offense um, um, a, a lot of opportunities to score. Um, but we don't do much with the ball, but on a third and four, um, at the start of the second quarter, um, you can see Brent Russell comes up for a tackle for a loss, and um, what a well of a game Brent Russell played um, this particular afternoon. He certainly did. On offense, Brandon Nolly to pick up the first down on third and two just moves the whole pile here. Well, again, he's a strong runner. That was a big first down for us, and then we bring in the freshman um, out of Athens, Darian Robinson, um, goes over the left tackle for a nice seven-yard gain, and then on second and five, Terry, we throw a, a swing pass out there, complete to Brandon Nolly for um, 10 yards. And I believe Chapel had a hot read on this, um, and it was a, a, a really nice play. And then um, we end up having to settle for a field goal again, unfortunately, but it was, uh, it was good, and that ended up um, really at the end of the day, that would have tied the ball game for us if we had to quit playing right then. That was a huge field goal. Let's show some more defense here. Markeith Wiley and Roderick come up with a big, create a loss for four yards on a first and 10 at the 44. Well, again, Markeith Wiley, along with Brent Russell, played a well of a game. I think those two guys deserve all conference honors this season. Um, and then Roderick Tinsley came in and played really well. Um, and then all of a sudden, um, you know, we changed possessions a little bit, but with about six minutes to go in the game, Terry, the Citadel gets the ball back, and on a second and nine on our own 33, they're going in to score. Um, they drop back to pass, and um, sophomore from Lowndes High School in Valdosta, Tavares Williams, number 11, gets a great read, makes an awesome interception, and returns it down our sideline. Um, and all of a sudden, we're in business, and with two minutes to go in the half, I'm on a second and 12 play. Um, Lee Chapel hits Brandon Nolly again. Um, I believe this was another hot throw that he had. Great across the field play. Then on third and four, um, we motion Pat Barker, and they get a little confused on the Citadel defense does, and we hit Mitch Williford, the freshman, um, on, a, on a touchdown pass over the middle. His first touchdown reception of the season, and as you can see here on the tape, what a great job of concentration and getting both feet in bounds um, to put us up 13 to nothing at the half. We go in with a lot of momentum, Terry, um, and I thought that the first half was just um, very indicative of the way our guys have played all season. They battle, and um, fortunately for us, we go in with um, up by two scores. Thank you, Coach. It's good to be leading at halftime, 13 to nothing. After this break, it's the Coach's Corner, brought to you by Knox Pest Control. Welcome back to Inside Georgia Southern Football with head coach Chris Hatcher. I'm Terry Harvin. Coach, the second half starts off with the momentum that we had from the first half. And a great kickoff return by Daryl Pasco, a senior. Yeah, it was good to see Daryl get a good, good return. He spins out of there and knew about broke it for a big gainer. Um, but it was the, the type of play we needed to start the third quarter. We come out right off the get-go. Lee Chapel hits Mitch Williford, who um, had the touchdown catch at the end of the second quarter for a big 15-yard gain. Um, and then we hit Brandon Nolly on set, uh, another first down play um, for eight yards. And then you see old Zeke Rozier up the middle on a second and two for a nice eight-yard gain. And then all of a sudden we get down to third and 11. And I thought this was a big play for momentum. Um, Lee Chapel doesn't have anybody to throw to. Gets great blocking, um, I think, by Darian Robinson here. Gains 10 yards. We go for it on fourth and one and are able to get the, get the first down. However, we, um, we get sacked and we miss a field goal, but we ran off six minutes of the clock, which was big, especially when you're in a defensive battle. It is, Coach. And talking about defensive battle, Andre Roberts is a big-time receiver for the Citadel. LaRon Scott, great on coverage on second and ten. Well, LaRon had a great game. We matched him up one-on-one -on -one with um, the All-American Roberts the entire game, and he played tremendously well throughout the course of the day. Here it is, fourth and seven, Coach. They're going for it. We need a big play, and we come up big with J.B. Shippey. Yeah, a great tackle in the open field, and 
um, again, all day long um, on the conversion downs, our defense stepped up big. Let me show you another big time hit. Uh, Darius Eubanks comes up with a just, he just smacks him. Well, <laughs> Darian, he, he, I tell you, Darius has played really well all year, but um, this is a big play from the freshman out of Thompson, and we expect big, big things from this young man. And then fourth and sixth, they're going for it again. Incomplete pass, but uh, KR Snipes has a little something to do with that. Well, KR's played well. He's from Opelika, Alabama, a sophomore who's seen a lot of play in time and again on the conversion downs fourth down our guys step up to the challenge we come into the fourth quarter I want to stay with defense Brent Russell right up the middle first and ten again our first down play was really good and um, we were getting great push up the middle by by Brent Russell and Marquise Wiley all afternoon and as they're trying to get some points on the board and we really need some more plays here it is fourth and nine as we get towards the end DeBose I mean a great play on the quarterback well we had a blitz called and Dion knifes through and gets a, a which should have been a sack they called it an incomplete pass um, great play and again fourth down we stop them um, which was really big because right now we're just trying to hang on to the lead and go home with a big win. And we know that Andre Roberts is going to get his catches, and he did coach right at the end. They were able to put some points on the board to a slant to Andre Roberts. But uh, just to knock it off for us, Brent Russell comes up with the PAT block. Yeah, it was hard to hold a, a, a great player of Roberts down the entire game. As you can see, it was a great throw and catch. Brent Russell comes in, makes a big-time block on the extra point to make it a seven-point ball game. Um, but nevertheless, we played well enough to win, and I'm really proud of our guys to go out on a, on a winning note um, on what's been a very difficult season for the Eagles. It's a great way to wrap up the 2009 campaign, and we come back after the break. We're going to talk about that a little bit more. But first, here's the Harvey Supermarket's game-changing performance. Under center, takes the snap, pressure comes, throws in the air, catches. Made, put an eagle six on it. Mitch Williford from the tight end, the wide receiver. The freshman from Duluth puts the Eagles in the end zone for the first time this afternoon. Well, welcome back to Inside Georgia Southern Football with head coach Chris Hatcher. Coach, as I've said, week in and week out, it's time to put this game in the books. Well, now it's time to put this season in the books. Terry, it's, it's been a, a kind of a crazy season for us. Uh, you know, we've, we've played some very difficult opponents on the road. We've had a very difficult schedule, if you will. And, um, but I think our team's matured a lot over the course of the season. We've had some seniors who have been here through three coaches um, that we sent them out with a big win today. And we're very proud of them for sticking with it and, and, and having um, great class and pride of being a Georgia Southern Eagle. Um, I think we've solidified our football team um, with as many of the freshmen and sophomores we played this year with a um, with a great foundation, a never say die attitude. Appreciate all our fans and supporters who have been out there and back the team all year long. Um, these guys um, have, have gone out each and every week and, and worn the blue and the white with great pride and, and they really believe in all the great traditions that we have here at Georgia Southern. Special thanks for Military Appreciation Day to Geo Vista Federal Credit Union, the U.S. Army ROTC, and the Heritage Banks. Thanks for all you do for us. Also, special thanks to Party Harbor for the Eagle Fun Zone. Love that place throughout the year. And, of course, Sunny's Barbecue for providing the great food in the press box. You, you haven't helped my diet at all. For Head Coach Chris Hatcher, my name is Terry Harvin. And, folks, remember, keep Georgia Southern on your mind in 2010. Inside Georgia Southern Football with Chris Hatcher, brought to you in part by East Georgia Regional Medical Center. Your health, your community, your hospital. The Georgia Lottery. Today could be the day. By Harvey's Supermarkets. Come home to Harvey's. bb and Best bank in town since 1872. Coca-Cola. The Coke side of life. And by Verizon Wireless, the official wireless provider of Georgia Southern Athletics. Verizon Wireless, we never stop working for you.